Hello everyone, welcome to my classroom, Easy and Inspire. In today's class, I am going to discuss about decimal adder or BCD adder and binary multiplier in combination logic circuit. First, I am going to deal with decimal adders. So, before going to the topic, we need to know what is a decimal number. So, decimal numbers are having base or radix value 10 and decimal numbers are ranging from 0 to 9. Okay. So, here I am going to design an adder circuit to perform decimal number addition. So, observe carefully. Add a circuit to perform decimal number addition. I am taking two numbers A, B. If these two values are varying from 0 to 9, that means these two are decimal numbers. Here I have considered 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 range. So, 0 to 9 range I have considered in binary format. Because in any digital application, decimal numbers are considered in binary format. So, we need to convert the decimal number into binary and then we have to add the numbers. So, decimal number addition in binary format is done using a BCD adder. BCD means binary coded decimal adder. So, decimal numbers are coded in binary format and then addition is performed. So, BCD adder is a circuit that adds two BCD numbers and produces a sum in BCD output. So, the output range of BCD is observe here. If we add two BCD numbers, the output varies from 0 to 18. Lowest number of BCD is 0. So, 0 plus 0 results 0. Highest number is 9. 9 plus 9 it results 18. So, this is binary representation of 0 and 9. So, lowest number addition results 0, highest number addition results 18. So, this output range is having valid answers and invalid answers. So, observe valid answers and invalid answers because sum of two BCD numbers must be a BCD number. So, sum of two BCD numbers must be a BCD. It is satisfied here. 0, 0 BCD number it resulted 0. So, it is a BCD. It is a valid answer. 9, 9. These two are BCD numbers. It resulted 18. 18 is not a BCD number. So, it is invalid answer. I will explain these two with some examples. So, BCD addition rules I have explained using some examples here. Observe example 1. Here, I have taken two numbers A and B. So, A is nothing but 0, 1, 0, 1, that is 5. B is 0, 1, 0, 0, that is nothing but 4. So, I am going to perform addition of 5 and 4. So, A is 5, B is 4, I have taken. So, 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, sum is 0, carry is 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1, it results 1. So, sum is 1, 0, 0, 1, that is nothing but 9. So, observe here. Sum of two BCD numbers must be a BCD number. Sum of two BCD numbers. So, output is also a BCD number. So, condition is satisfied. So, no corrections are required in this case. So, observe example 2. Here, I am performing addition of A, 0, 1, B, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, A is nothing but 7, B is nothing but 9. I am performing addition of 7 and 9. So, A, B values I have performed addition and S is sum is 1, 4, 0. That is nothing but 16. 16 is not a BCD value because it is not in the range of 0 and 9. So, observe example 3. So, I am going to add A. This is nothing but 9, 5. B is nothing but 5, 2. I have taken A, B values and decimal number representation here I have taken. So, 9, 5, 5, 2. So, I am performing the addition. So, 5 plus 2. Answer is 7. So, 7 is a BCD value. 9 plus 5. Sum is 14. 14 is not a BCD number. So, observe. In example 2, 16 is not a BCD number. In example 3, 14 is not a BCD number. 7 is a BCD number. So, we need to add plus 6 to this number and to 16. So, 
these two these two needs correction of plus 6 so in two cases correction is required first case is if sum exceeds by 9 and second case is carry generated condition so to design an adder circuit first i am going to design a correction circuit see here correction circuit making procedure how to make a correction circuit how to design a correction circuit so s3 s2 s1 s0 is nothing but some values if sum is 0 no need to correct it if sum is 1 no need to correct it up to 9 so no corrections are required but 10 11 12 13 14 15 so all these cases required correction so correction of plus 6 so i have taken one for these cases so by drawing k map for this y value i am going to design a circuit see here k map i have taken so 4 bits so 2 power 4 16 cell k map i have considered here so 16 cell k map and i have drawn this so 10 11 12 13 14 15 i have taken once here so this is my first group this is my second group so first group observe so common values i have considered here so for first group i have taken only one one that is nothing but s3 s2 s3 s2 and second group so these two so common is s1 and in these two s3 s3 and s1 so boolean expression is s3 s2 s1 s3 so this is correction circuit making procedure so using this expression i am going to design my correction circuit so observe here i have taken the same example example 3 to implement a bcd adder so what we require first so this is a 4 bit number this is a 4 bit number so 4 bit binary adder is required first if the sum is bcd number no need to correct it but if the sum is not a bcd number then we need a correcting circuit nothing but circuit to detect sum greater than 9 condition so first we require a 4 bit adder circuit so first i am going to add these two using a 4 bit adder circuit after that i am observing these two values if the value is a bcd number no need to correct it this value is not a bcd so it is exceeded by 9 so i am going to correct it by using a correcting circuit so next i am going to add plus 6 to this number so one more 4 bit adder i am taking here because this is a 4 bit plus 6 means 0 1 1 0 that is also 4 bit so one more 4 bit adder i am considering to add 6 to the sum so to this sum so these three circuits these three blocks are required to design or to implement a bcd adder so observe 4 bit adder circuit means to add these 4 bit 4 bit numbers so if output is bcd no need to go for this condition and this condition if the output is not a bcd then correction circuit is required and next one one more circuit to add 6 so observe here so this is nothing but a 4 bit adder it can also be represented like this 4 bit binary adder circuit so a values b values addition and sum so i have already designed a 4 bit adder using full adders in previous classes so 4 bit parallel adder we have already discussed so these three are same these three are 4 bit adder circuits that is nothing but 4 bit binary adder circuit next correction circuit so observe s3 s1 sorry s3 s2 s3 s1 so for this i have designed a circuit that is nothing but this is the correction circuit so observe all these in single diagram 
So this is the final block diagram of BCD adder circuit. First, I am going to take two numbers. So these four are related to A. These four are related to B. So A values, B values I have considered and sum is performed here. So sum resulted S3, S2, S1, S0. This is the sum. If no correction is required, so we can stop here. It means if the sum is BCD number, so you can stop here. No need to proceed. So if it is not a BCD number, then S3, S2 plus S3, S1. So observe here. S3 S2 plus S3 S1. S3 into S2 and add means S3 into S2. S3 S1 and add means S3 dot S1. And these two are odd. So S3 S2 plus S3 S1. Nothing but the correction circuit. And, and one more case is there. That is nothing but carry generated condition. So observe here carry. Either this condition or these conditions. These three conditions require correction. So, I have taken carry condition and the condition from K map. Observe here. This is resulted from K map and this is carry condition. These two conditions require correction. So, it results 1. Observe carefully. It results 1. And next, to this sum, to this sum means to the non-BCD number, I am going to add plus 6. So, I am taking this one like this. So, 1 is here, 1 is here. Observe, 1 is here and 1 is here. And here I am taking two zeros. 0, 1, 1, 0 means 6. And this is non-BCD. So, non BCD number. Non BCD number and 6 is going to be added. And the final result is corrected sum S3, S2, S1, S0. So, if this is a BCD number, we can stop here. If this is not a BCD number, then we have to add plus 6 value to the non BCD number and the result is obtained here. Observe carefully. So, I am taking two numbers A, B and I have performed addition. If this addition is BCD, so no need to proceed further. If this is not a BCD, I have to add plus 6. So, I am taking further steps here. This is about BCD adder. Next, I am going to deal with binary multiplier circuit. So, I have taken this. So, this is an extra topic. Binary multiplied circuit. So, multiplication of binary numbers is going to be done by this circuit. So, consider two numbers A, B. A is having two bits. B is having two bits. So, observe here. A1, A0 into B1, B0. First, B1. So, B0, A0 and B0, A1. So, B1, A0, B1, A1. So, this is the normal multiplication procedure. So, observe here. Each such multiplication forms a partial product. This is a partial product. So, all these are partial products. Such partial products are shifted by one position to the left. Observe. So, first partial products and second partial products shifted by one position to the left. And final product is obtained by addition of these numbers. So, by performing some operation. This is normal multiplication procedure. So, we will design a multiplier circuit for this procedure. Observe. A naught, B naught. These two are multiplied here. So, A naught, B naught. That is nothing but C naught. Observe. A naught, B naught. That is nothing but C naught. Next, A naught, B1. Observe. A0, B1 is added to A1, B0. So, observe here. A0, B1 is added to A1, B0. A0, B1 is added to using half adder is added to 
a1 b0 i am adding these two using half adder so and it resulted some value and carry value so i am giving this carry value to the next value observe if carry is generated here so i give that carry to this value so observe carefully this carry is given to a1 b1 so a1 b1 and the carry these two are added and c2 is generated these two are added using half adder and c2 is generated here and it resulted carry so this is the final answer observe so this circuit is designed from this circuit so no more complications it is designed using this values this is a 2 by 2 means a not b not a1 b1 2 by 2 binary multiple circuit i have taken only two bits if 4 by 3 multiplier is asked then this is the circuit so b not b1 b2 b3 4 a not a1 a2 3 4 by 3 multiplier circuit this is the 4 by 3 multiplier circuit so this is about binary multipliers in next class we we'll go to discuss about magnitude comparators thank you